Welcome. Starting with very basic and important question what are aseptic techniques in the pharmaceutical industry? Aseptic techniques in the pharmaceutical industry are a set of carefully designed procedures and practices to prevent contamination of sterile products, equipments and workplace. These mainly includes controlled environment, various sterilization techniques, governing procedures, aseptic handling of material, cleaning and monitoring. How should operators move within an aseptic environment? Operators must move slowly and deliberately to avoid disrupting airflow as specified in UGMP Annex 1. Why hand disinfection is important before wearing sterile gloves in aseptic areas? Hand disinfection removes transient and resident microorganisms, reducing contamination risk during gowning. Refer to UGMP Annex 1. How should operators handle sterile tools during aseptic operations? Operators must handle sterile tools using sterile techniques such as holding them by non-critical areas under unidirectional airflow. Refer to UGMP Annex 1. Why operators must avoid reaching over open sterile containers in aseptic areas? Reaching over sterile containers can disrupt airflow and introduce contaminants from the operator. Follow aseptic handling guidelines in UGMP Annex 1. Why surface disinfection is crucial or important in aseptic processing? Surface disinfection eliminates viable microorganisms on equipment and surfaces to maintain sterility. Use validated sporicidal agent as per USP Chapter No. 1072. What is the correct way to disinfect gloves during aseptic operations? Gloves should be disinfected with a sterile alcohol solution, example 70% IPA or any other validated disinfectant regularly and whenever contamination is suspected. Refer to USP chapter number 1072. You can refer the pictorial for correct way of glove disinfections as recommended by WHO. What type of airflow is used in aseptic areas and why? Unidirectional airflow that is UDAF such as in laminar flow hoods ensures consistent removal of particles and microorganisms in critical zones. Refer to ISO 14644 and UGMP Annex 1. How should an operator respond if they suspect a breach in sterility during aseptic processing? The operators must immediately stop the operation, inform the supervisor and follow the established SOP for breach handling. Refer to UGMP Annex 1. What is limit for airborne particle concentration that is NVPC in grade A, B, C and D? You can refer below table from UGMP Annex 1 point number 9.15 for airborne particle concentration limits in grade A, B, C and D. Why media fills are conducted in aseptic manufacturing? Media fills validate the aseptic process by simulating production conditions using growth media to detect potential contamination. Refer to UGMP Annex 1 and FDA's aseptic guidance. What is the role of sterile gloves in aseptic techniques? Sterile gloves act as a barrier between operators and sterile products, minimizing contamination risk. Regular disinfection of gloves during use is mandatory as per UGMP Annex 1. How often should clean room garments be changed in aseptic manufacturing? Garments should be changed daily or after any breach in integrity as stated in UGMP Annex 1. What are the critical aseptic techniques for material transfer into clean rooms? Material must be cleaned, disinfected and transferred through validated pass-through systems to avoid contamination. Refer to WHO's technical report series number 961. What is the critical purpose of aseptic gowning in pharmaceutical manufacturing? Aseptic gowning minimizes contamination by reducing particle shading from personal. Gowning procedures are outlined in UGMP Annex 1. Very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for following aseptic techniques in the pharmaceutical industry. 
UGMP Annex 1 updates guidance for sterile drug products WHO's TRS that is technical report series number 961 Annex 6 ISO 14644 and USP chapter number 797 are commonly referred for aseptic techniques in the pharmaceutical industry Don't forget to like comment and share subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry